Now, dozens of doctors in at least two of Kenya's 47 counties have gone on strike over delayed salaries and adequate personal protective equipment for handling COVID-19 patients and the lack of medical insurance. Healthcare workers say they have not been given adequate PPE, but the government has said it has distributed enough to go around. For the latest on this, we're joined by SABC East Africa correspondent Sarah Kimani. Sarah, let's first start with how many healthcare workers have died and somebody, how many have contracted COVID-19? Well, uh, according to the latest information from the Ministry of Health, at least 838 health workers, that includes doctors, uh, nurses, clinicians, medical officers, researchers, have actually contracted COVID-19. Out of this, we are told that at least 16 of them have actually died. And this is what is now worrying. Uh, Nairobi County, doctors who work in the Nairobi County saying the bulk of these doctors are actually from this county, the Nairobi County, and they say they have been neglected so much, and yet this is a county that is the epicenter of the disease. And that is the reason why they will be beginning their strike uh, on Friday, which is tomorrow. And I want to talk about indications of a sympathy strike in other parts of the country. I know that the healthcare unions had said that as much as the strike is happening in Nairobi County, it, it doesn't mean it's a national problem. Yes, indeed, but uh, some of them in the other counties have actually already started uh, their strike. We have one of the counties in the west of the country called Homer Bay County. Doctors there, uh, nurses, all the health workers have been on strike for a week now. They're demanding... uh, uh, PPEs, they are demanding uh, better working conditions, but they are also saying that they have not received their salaries and allowances since May this year, and they are saying even though they have tried to negotiate with the county government, because health is a decentralized function, so the central government does not uh, pay the doctors directly. Instead, it sends money to the counties and then the governors, which is the equivalent of premiers, are the ones who are supposed to pay the health workers. So, for the last three months, Uh, Most of the counties are complaining that doctors are yet to receive their salaries. The Nairobi one is uh, quite uh, significant because doctors are saying in some cases they are being forced to improvise improvise, uh, their personal protective equipment because what they get is either substandard or not enough to go around for every doctor. And I understand that the doctors themselves, those who've contracted COVID-19, say they're being forced to pay out of pocket for their own treatment. Has this been verified? Indeed, yes. Uh, During the press conference that they held uh, last week on Friday uh, to issue notice saying that they will be going on strike, uh, one of the union officials said that uh, they themselves cannot be able to afford the services that they offer because they have not uh, had the insurance uh, paid up or their medical covers have not been uh, paid up to date. And so they are finding to have to either dig into their pockets to pay or they're having to contribute to pay for their uh, fellow doctors uh, who are either unwell or who succumb uh, to the disease. And just looking at those visuals there, uh, Sarah, I'm just wondering uh, the fact that you see so many uh, medics who are gathered in, in, you know, a a constrained space and yet they seem not to be wearing masks themselves. Is this a a, a show of protest to say that we have none, government is refusing us, so we're just going to go out there and show you what we're contending with? Well, I I believe that is the footage from their previous uh, uh, strike where they actually uh, downed their tools for 100 days. This was uh, uh, last year when they were still demanding uh, better working conditions. They were demanding that uh, promotions are on merit and that they indeed get those promotions. That went for 100 days. They say some of those uh, issues that they signed and agreed to during that time have not been met. And so that's the reason why uh, they will be going back to the streets. We are yet to see if indeed they will go to the streets. I was speaking to one of the uh, union officials today, and uh, when I asked him if we should expect a press conference, if we should expect them to take to the streets, uh, he told me that what they will be doing is just staying away from their offices. Uh, indeed, one of the updates that we are getting now one of the officials tweeting uh, earlier that they were supposed to be having talks at 3 p.m. Kenyan time uh, with the county government of Nairobi and also the National Metropolitan Services. Uh, those talks actually happened at 3 p.m., but two hours later, 
he tweeted to indicate that the talks had collapsed and so the strike could still be going on. Okay. Uh, and the report saying that patients are no longer visiting public health facilities due to the strike. How true are those reports and where are they going for treatment if that is the case? Well, uh, there has been already some form of uh, apathy or people just staying off health facilities because of uh, fear of contracting COVID-19 because of the stigma that has been around the disease. Hospitals, including private hospitals, have had uh, 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 downward trends in, in terms of the number of people coming into hospital. But now with the strike starting to take off, it means a lot of people, even patients who may want uh, to receive uh, treatment or to, receive, to be isolated, although Kenya has started a home-based care, but anybody who may need medical attention within Nairobi County and uh, by next week, other counties that may join in solidarity will find it very difficult to get medical care. This is government medical care, which in most cases is highly subsidized. But if uh, then they need services, they will have to turn to private hospitals, which is out of reach for many Kenyans. Majority of Kenyans cannot afford uh, private health care. Thank you so much. Sarah Kimanya, East Africa correspondent, speaking to us uh, in Nairobi, Kenya.